we are looking at number two. The first thing I wanna look at is my net forces. So looking at situation A, all of my forces that are opposite one another cancel out. So I end up with a net force of zero. For situation B, my up-down forces cancel out. Again, I've added in little negatives there for my leftward and my downward forces, because remember, leftward and downward forces are always negative. So those have canceled out, leaving me with this five newtons, negative five newtons to the left. So that's where I get my net force there. Um, for situation C, I also have my forces canceling out here, okay? So my net force is zero. And then for situation D, I have negative 25 down and positive 40 up. So I add those together and I end up getting 15 newtons, positive 15 newtons for my net force, okay? So first I wanna look at the movement of the two different situations that are net force zero, okay? Net force zero means that we have balanced forces. And the thing that we always know for sure about objects with balanced forces is that they are moving at a constant velocity, okay? That doesn't necessarily mean that they are moving. It just means that their movement is constant. So like right now, I'm sitting in a chair. My velocity is constant. It's zero, but it's the same. Like I'm just sitting here, right? Um, so th that's the same situation for situation a and for situation C, okay? Um, for situation B and D, it's different because we have unbalanced forces. We have a net force that is equal to some non-zero number, okay? So with situation B, our net force is pointing to the left. So that means that if we were also going to the left, like if this object was moving to the left, the movement would be with the net force meaning you'd be speeding up. If the movement is to the right, that would mean that you are moving against the net force, meaning that you are slowing down, okay? For situation, um, but either way, it's unbalanced forces, so that we know that there's some sort of acceleration happening here. Either we are speeding up or we're slowing down, okay? For situation D, we have um, a net force that is pointing upward because it's a positive net force and the only forces we have are upward forces, right? Um, so if we are moving upward, we our velocity would be increasing because it's moving in the direction of the net force. If we were moving downward, our velocity would be decreasing because we are going against the net force, okay? And again, our velocity is changing because we have unbalanced forces here, 